Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. In this video, we'll learn how to link our Discord account to our PlayStation 5 console. Sometimes when playing online with friends on PlayStation 5, voice chat can be awkward or cumbersome, depending on the platforms our friends use. PS5, Xbox or PC can sometimes have incompatibilities, or we simply can't chat in-game because the chats aren't shared. Also, if our friends aren't on PS5, we can't create a voice chat within the console to talk to them. In any case, to avoid this and reduce latency, Many people prefer that all friends connect on Discord. You play the game, but use Discord for voice chat, which is done externally through the app. Until recently, it was only possible if besides the PS5, you had a PC or phone to install Discord and join your friend's room. This way, you could play on the PS5 online while chatting with your buddies via PC or mobile. But now, as we'll see in this video, you can link your PlayStation 5 account with Discord. You won't need a phone or PC to use Discord anymore as you can do it directly from the console. So with that said, let's start the process. Connecting Discord to your PlayStation 5 is super easy and you can do it on PC as you're seeing now on Discord's website or through the mobile app on your phone. In both cases, you can link them without any issues the only thing you need to keep in mind is that first you need to have well as first you need a discord account and a playstation account linked to your console most people already have this so let's move on to the easy process once in discord via web or mobile app go to your profile access it by clicking here and selecting edit profile in the left sidebar menu find the connection section here it is the connection section Locate and click on it. Here, you'll see various platforms to link, including PlayStation Network. Xbox is also here, but for this video, we'll click on PlayStation Network. As you can see, we're given two options. Either we have a PlayStation 5 or a PlayStation 4. For PlayStation 5, as you can see, we'll be able to join voice chat directly on the PS5 meaning we can use Discord from the console itself as well as display the game we're playing. This isn't possible on the PlayStation 4. If we have a PS4, the only thing we can do is show what game we're playing. We can't join voice chat. Once we're clear on this, we click continue at the bottom. As you can see, it prompts us to log in first, so we'll click continue. A pop-up window will open where we need to enter our PlayStation account details. First, enter your email. Then it'll ask for your password. I have mine saved, but you'll need to type yours in. As you can see, I have a verification code. I'll enter it now. Once you've entered the code sent to your phone, click Verify. This step may or may not appear for you. I have two-factor authentication, which is more secure. Don't worry if you don't see it. The important part is reaching this screen, which shows that Discord will link with your PlayStation account. Click Accept, and you'll see a box indicating that your PlayStation Network account is now connected to Discord. You can close this window and go back to Discord. Alright, let's close the window. In Step 2D2, as you can see, we'll authorize and continue. It's done now. We'll click Ready, and as you can observe, PlayStation has vanished from here and now appears as a connected account, meaning we can now access Discord from our PlayStation. Now that we've completed the process on Discord, let's move to the PlayStation 5. From the main menu, press the PlayStation button to open the bottom menu shown here. Once in this menu, look for the game base section, which you can see right here. We'll enter this section and as you can see, an icon has appeared below with the Discord logo. If we click on it, we can enter the server or rooms we want and join any of them. All the chats we've created with friends will be available, showing which users are online on the right. Once done, we can use Discord directly on our PlayStation 5 without needing any external devices. Well guys, that's all for this video. As always, I hope this has been helpful.
If so, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay updated. That's all from me. As always, it's been a pleasure. See you in the next video.